Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a cash envelope stuffing. You see here we got my Canadian dollars, my Monopoly money. Um, I know it's past Valentine's Day, but I tried to do little hearts on my nails and they were okay, but then they got worse over time. So just disregard those. Uh, they'll be changed shortly, but just not in this video. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. We're doing a cash envelope stuffing. Like I said, we're gonna go over uh, how much cash do I have? What are all of my different groupings as well? Where I'm gonna put that money into? Knowing that things are pretty expensive right now, the price of gas is just astronomical as well. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. So please comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video and let's get started. So let's write it out here. Cash. Hee hee, all right. So we have all of our dollar bills here. Let's kind of put them into piles. We have a 50, 20, 20, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. We have two more hundies, a 50, a 50, a 20 with the queen. The queen, the queen, a five, and a ten. So now that we have everything in order, we're going to see how much we have and get started with that. So in terms of hundred dollar bills, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight. So we have $800 just from that. 50s, we have one, two, three. So we have 50 times three, $150. 20s, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six times 20 is 120. We have 110 and we have one five. So uh, then we have a 10 and a 5. So all together, how much do we have? We have 950. Oh my goodness, let's do some math. Ooh. Okay, so 150 plus 120 gives us 270 plus 800 gives us 1070 plus the 10 is 1080 and then 5. So we have 1085. So that's how much we are working with for this next segment. Let's start off with some categories. So we have savings, we have groceries, we have, actually we'll do groceries and gas together. We have entertainment. I never know how to, how to spell that. Uh, so savings, groceries and gas, entertainment, should I do entertainment and dining out and dining out with those together? We have personal, so this is clothes um, and any kind of general taking care of your body kind of thing. We have travel. Uh, and then I think that's about it. Oh my goodness, what else am I forgetting? Okay, well, let's start with those. Usually I'll go through, I'll, I'll put everything in and then I'll amend it depending on how much money I have. So. This is for the next two weeks. So with groceries and gas, let's start off there. One, two, three, let's do $300 to start, okay. With entertainment and dining out. Uh, let's see. Well, things are reopening up, so Probably gonna be going a little bit crazier there. So let's put in 200 for no. Okay. Personal, like hair, clothes, skin, makeup, body wash, things like that. Let's put in uh, a 50 in that pile. Travel, I have some big trips coming up. Uh, one, two, so let's see. This already takes into account one, 
two, three, four, five, five fifty. So I'm about halfway there. So I think I can I can beef up all of these quite a bit as well. Um, actually, personal. I'm gonna increase substantially. I'm gonna increase it to instead of fifty, we're gonna make it two hundred. And the reason why, so let's add in another 150 in there. And the reason why is because I'm actually starting to do unlimited hot yoga, um, which I've been having a lot of fun with. Uh, it's been really great. I go almost daily, between I would say five to seven times a week. Um, and because it's unlimited, I want to go as often as possible so I can get the best bang for my buck. Um, but it does mean that I've had to upgrade some things. For example, I just bought a new Lululemon yoga mat which was a hundred dollars absolutely crazy it's super expensive i used it once so far um, i just bought it a few days ago i went to one class it's already worth the money it is such a difference with the quality of it relative to my old 20 dollar winners one so i'm really happy i did that so that's part of the reason why personal has increased to 200 is because 150 of that or 145 of that is specifically just for hot yoga itself if you would like to know uh, from there, let's see, travel. Let's go a little bit heavier on travel. Let's put in 250. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 35. Now I have 135. Let's put that into savings. 135. Okay, so 135 into savings. 300 into groceries and gas, 200 into entertainment and dining out, 200 into personal, and then 250 into travel. Actually, no, personal I can decrease to 100 because the 145 for unlimited yoga is every month. So this I can decrease to 100. So now I have an extra $100. I'm going to put groceries. Let's do. Let's make this 350. And then I will increase. Should I do my entertaining dining out? Yes. I'm going to increase this to 250 because things are opening back up. So there's almost no restrictions anymore. Thank goodness. It has been so long. It's been two years since COVID started. How flipping crazy is that? <laughs> so we are, I think we're, we're pretty good with that. Let's make sure that all of my calculations are right. So 250, 250, 500, uh, 600, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1,050, 60, 70, 85. Yeah, we got it right. So let's go through it as well. So we have for savings 135. So we have 120, 135. So that's for savings. Groceries and gas, we have 350. So we have one, two, three, fifty. Entertainment and dining out, we have 250. So 250. Personal is 100 and travel is 250. So 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 130, or sorry, 210, 230, 250, which is perfect. I have a lot of plans coming up for travel. I've had quite a few changes due to personal life circumstances, uh, but I do have some trips coming up, including a little bit of Las Vegas, Viva Las Vegas, as one could say. I'm still getting comfortable with the whole cash envelope stuffing and kind of counting out bills and having everything in each bucket, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still here, please comment, like, and subscribe. I hope to see you again in a future video. I do ones all about budgeting, money, a lot of credit card churning as well, which I really enjoy. So this is a great way for me to, to ensure that I have sufficient funds. With that, thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.